So the first thing you notice with the Steam Deck is the seven inch display on it that has an anti-glare reflective coating on top of it, which is one of the cool things that comes when you get the top of the line version of the Steam Deck. Now, even with that seven inch screen, this device is actually a lot lighter than I expected it to be. It's still a thick boy. It's not small by any stretch of the means, but it's a lot lighter than what I was actually expecting it to be when I first picked it up. And that size is warranted because you do have two thumbsticks on here. You also have the D-pad on the left and you have the YXAB buttons on the right. And below on both sides, you have integrated touch pads that also works as buttons as well too. You also have uh, shoulder triggers on each side and you have four back buttons on the back of it, which feel a little bit on the mushy side as sort of I've been using them right now, but I'll need to really use them in the game to get a little bit more idea how that, how well those really work. Now, as far as what comes inside of the box, you pretty much don't get too much here other than a really, really nice case. And this is a special edition version of the case that you get if you get the top of the line Steam Deck when you order it. You also get the charging cable as well too that is tethered to the actual brick, which I wish it would separate out. Fortunately, it doesn't do that. You do get a cleaning cloth for the screen as well too, but that's pretty much all you get with it. Now, there are some more extras besides the case that comes with the top of the line version of the Steam Deck, but we need to go ahead and go through the setup process by go ahead and plugging this in and it'll power right on. It'll take a few minutes for that to power on that first initial boot to happen, but once you get there, you'll get to the welcome screen and on that welcome screen, you can choose your language, you can set your time zone, and you can also enter in your Wi-Fi as well too. And once you do all that, it's gonna go ahead and download an update and get everything updated to the latest version. I do like though that they do give you a progress indicator and tell you how fast things are downloading, which is really nice. The update does take a little bit while the process. Once that finishes, you'll be up to the login screen. So you can go ahead and log in with your Steam account. And once you're logged in, you'll be right at your library. And I'm not gonna lie here, your boy is definitely lacking on his Steam library here. You know, I'm a console gamer, but I'm really looking to get more into PC gaming here. So I'll definitely be beefing that library up. And I already got two games in mind I wanna jump into. But before that, I do want to show you a couple of extra bonuses that you do get. You do get some community badges that get attached to your account. You also get uh, several custom keyboards for the virtual keyboard that you can choose from in between. So far, my favorite one has been the Dex 85 one. For some reason, I just really like the way that one looks. So I've set my one to that. Now this is the 512 gigabyte model that has the fastest storage that's available on it. Now what's really cool is you get about 465 gigabytes of that storage, which is really nice to see. And a lot of other next gen consoles need to learn how to give you a much initial space in the very beginning and not hog it up with everything else. And I think you know who I'm talking about. The storage is also upgradable as well too. You can change the internal storage with another M.2 or you can upgrade using the SD card right at the bottom of the system right there and you can upgrade and add more storage to it as well. But I need to start filling up that storage so I decided to download two games. One is Elden Ring and another game is called Hades. Two games I've actually been pretty interested in trying to pick up here. And what's really cool is when you go through the process of downloading, it gives you a really nice informative download page that lets you know the speed, how fast things are downloading, how much you have left to download, and you can change right on the fly instantaneously which download is going to take priority. I like to see dual downloads at some point where you can multi-download things, but the ability is to switch between those very easily and pick which one you want to go first is a really nice feature to have. Loading up the game can take a little bit. Um, it does give you the option between DirectX or Vulkan in some of the games here. I chose Vulkan in this matter here. It just depends on what you think is gonna give you the best performance and getting things loaded up and ready. You can have multiple games kind of running at the same time. It does warn you ahead of time about that. And I did see some performance sort of things happen with that where the audio from Hades was kind of bleeding in to Elden Ring while I was playing Elden Ring as the primary game. The fans can also be a bit loud, especially heard this in Elden Ring, but I don't want to put judgment on the fans just yet because I literally have been updating and playing around with this thing. And so, you know, the process and everything, it's going to be a little bit warm. So I want to hold my judgment on that right now. But my first impression so far is that this is really impressive. I really do enjoy playing the game on here. I've played some Hades on here. I love the way the screen looked. The game played well. Everything flowed very well. I didn't have any sort of problems with that. Controls are very responsive so far. Switched over to Elden Ring and it was just amazing that this can be played on something of this size. It really tells you what the power of this custom AMD APU that's in here. If you don't know what that is, an APU is a GPU, CPU kind of put together with 16 gigabytes of RAM and it feels like 
it's, it's just amazing how well this feels. It feels like you're playing the full game with no issues. I know I can make some tweaks and stuff like that to get better performance, but so far right now, it's been very, very good. And the fact that this is running Steam OS to me is just amazing. It's a Linux based operating system and not Windows, which we've been so used to. And the gaming landscape is really changing. And I can't wait to really take a deep dive into sort of how Steam OS works here, which I will have that video replace this recommended video here for you to watch next.